suppose we chose the Irish lawn initially because we heard about it but it was through word of mouth really a number of people that we know would have gotten married here and we'd heard that it had a really good reputation. The Ryan family had been running the business for 50 years at that point so I think that separates it from mm. probably from a lot, a lot of the other hotels that we had viewed in Galway at the time. And I think as well the location of it because we knew we wanted somewhere in Galway city but to have that little bit of I suppose more secluded, of a country feel. Yeah, yeah, secluded feel to it as well. Yeah. Even out the back where the garden is and the fountain is, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I did see a number of guests going out for a little walk around the gardens and commenting on it afterwards. And I think any time of year as well, you know, you'll get good shots for your photographer if you wanted to take pictures outside. Walking into the room when we first came in as well, like after being greeted, we got our glass of champagne, which was lovely coming into the room. And there was loads of people standing, kind of waiting to receive us, and they were taking loads of photos and that. So it would make you feel really special and almost like a Hollywood couple when you come into all the flashing photographers that were there. And it's, I suppose the one time in your life you probably feel like that as well. Yeah. But it was absolutely gorgeous um, reception area to have when you first come in and the decoration that was there, you know, there was the Christmas tree up and mulled wine and Prosecco, it was absolutely gorgeous. Entertainment on arrival as well is something that you don't get in other places, so having the jazz band playing was absolutely brilliant and again was something that loads of people would have mentioned to us afterwards was, oh, you know, did you organise that yourself? And we were saying no, that that, you know, the, the hotel put that on. Um, people were very impressed with it. At every point, uh, Maureen and Orla were by our side asking us if everything was okay, mm -hmm. if we only got anything we can do for your extra. It just shows the level of experience that they have in the business. It was something different as well, even to have the open carvery, but, you know, having spoken to the staff here and talked to Orla and that, they said how it's probably the best way that you can to make sure that the food, when it's presented to people, is, you know, really really hot. It's, it's kind of interesting to see how it's cut straight yeah. away and then it's presented to the, the guests within a few seconds, really, yeah. like... And it was absolutely lovely going up to the room then, like, they had, you know, sparkling wine waiting for us, strawberries, chocolate. The layout of the room, size of the room, was absolutely his and her gorgeous. Robes, yeah. His and her things. It was just lovely. We definitely like to thank everyone who works at the Arla and all the staff, particularly those I suppose who helped in organising and planning of the wedding day. So um, it was probably the best day of our lives, I can definitely say, and I, I wouldn't have chosen any other location or setting to have had that day um, other than the Ardalon. I'd also say it was the best day of our lives and um, I can't wait to come back here again for another wedding. <laughs> I couldn't recommend it highly enough.